Thanks for staying with us here on Newsdex. Now, three Nigerians have been arrested for robbery and illegal entry into the country by personnel of the Sugakope Inland Immigration Checkpoint of the Ghana Immigration Service. Emmanuel Christopher Chukuma Onyaku and Sylvia Jamaho entered the country with the assistance of some Togolese through an unapproved route at the eastern frontier. Chief Superintendent of Immigration Shadrach Asangokwa said an accomplice of of one of the suspects attempted bribing the officers with 5,000 US dollars to enable her release. Director of Public Affairs at the Ghana Immigration Service, uh, Michael Amwako. Joins us uh, via Zoom with more on this. Uh, Mr. Mwakwata, thank you very much uh, for your time here on Newsdex. Uh, we are back at the issue of bribing again, uh, bribing your men. Fortunately, this time we are told once again that uh, they resisted a bribe. What is the latest on this case? Yes, uh, uh, thank you. As you rightly said or read from our press release, um, these three Nigerians who entered illegally. Uh, were intercepted at the inland checkpoint and while they were being processed uh, to be handed over to the sector command a gentleman comes in uh, trying to bribe our officers with uh, about five thousand dollars for them to be released and uh, which uh, definitely uh, our officers refused and also arrested him and added him to the three uh, illegal uh, immigrants so currently as we speak they have been handed over to the ghana port health service at aflao for them to go through the mandatory 14 days uh, quarantine. And after that, knowing their status, they'll be handed over to the Ghana Immigration Service uh, for prosecution. Now we, we, we want to serve a stronger deterrent by prosecuting in court and seeking stiffer punishment uh, to deter others from trying to engage in this illegal uh, activity. So as we speak, they are under quarantine with the podcast at the flower. So you are no longer going to repatriate people who enter the country illegally like you used to do. This time you are going to arraign them. Yes, yes. Initially, when when the the order came, um, we we were repatriated as as a, a means of serving as a deterrent, so that people will not even try to travel from far places to try to enter Ghana through uh, unapproved routes. And uh, the second level of our strategy is now to seek for uh, prosecution and. Uh, but a week or two ago, we had one against a Malian citizen who also entered illegally and was convicted to uh, a fine of 24,000 Ghana cities. So, yes, definitely, we're going to do that. Uh, now, so about a few weeks ago, we had a case of 20 people who were arrested. Um, what is the latest on that situation? Uh, they were being quarantined to check their status. Um, what is the result? And are they also going to be prosecuted? Or this policy uh, will not take a retrospective effect, uh, as, so to speak? Uh, 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 it depends upon the test results after the, the 14 day uh, uh, quarantine period and also based on advice from our, our legal department. So, yes. Uh, uh, it's not about being retrospective, but then if their status shows that, yes, they are negative and advise it that, yes, we should go ahead, then definitely the legal team will go ahead and prosecute them. Mr. Makwata, thank you very much. But just before you go, will these officers who resisted a bribe also uh, be promoted, like we saw in the other, um, in the other instance, to serve as uh, motivation, like you said the last time? Yes. Now, with the two or three uh, promotions or evasions that we have done, the results from the field shows that our officers are well motivated now. The morale is very high, and commitment to work or duty is, has also gone up. And it, it shows in this number of interceptions and seizures of drugs and all that. And th but that will be a determination for the Comptroller General uh, and the Council to determine. But definitely, uh, they'll be recommended either way. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, Mr. Chief Superintendent Amakwata speaks for the Ghana Immigration Service.